I'm met by the chief, Nguema. Luckily for me, he speaks fluent French, the language left behind by the European colonizers. He explains that he has been chosen from a population of several hundred to lead this community, which survives entirely from fishing these waters. Nguema brings out a covered basin with something moving around in the bottom. On closer inspection, I glimpse snake-like markings. I wonder if he is testing me. Out here, first impressions matter. I cannot be seen to lose face. No, no. I'm in the village of Bonga, 500 miles up the Congo River. The village chief, Nguema, brings out a covered basin. In the bottom is a creature with markings like those of a snake. I'm not sure what to do and take this as a kind of test. Voila. Voila. That's, gosh, that's a fish and a half, that is. That's a mongusu. And that looks, that looks just like a snakehead. But it's in Africa. But it's so similar, so similar. The bony head and a very muscular body. And the other thing is they're capable of living in, you know, lots of them all in a very small amount of water. So they're very well adapted to sort of low oxygen conditions. I better put it back, I think. Don't want him out too long. There's just so many variations on the fish theme here and just a brilliant example of what they call convergent evolution. You get, uh, you know, fish in a completely different part of the world which have the same strategy for survival and actually look very similar 